All right, guys, we are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics, wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. Uh, depending on your location at this time of the day, I quickly want to share Peter B. The moment Peter B. is walking out, and also to affirm his street credibility, like seriously. All right, so just to recap, um, any moment from now, uh, the tribunal will um, begin Peter B.'s petition against the outcome and the uh, process of February 25 um, presidential election. And then, the, um, according to some APC chieftain, they believe that the moment uh, Tinubu is sworn into office, that it may influence, um, you know, the outcome of the tribunal um, petition of the party and Peter will be. But a lot of people is also optimistic uh, that even if um, Tinubu is sworn in as the president, that it will not influence the outcome of um, uh, the judiciary. Because many people think um, if Tinubu becomes the president, all power as the number one man, uh, that he has power to control every area and aspect uh, in the country. But however, I quickly want to share the street credibility of uh, Peter Obi. As he's walking out, you can see everybody, anywhere Peter Obi goes, um, he always, um, you know, associated himself, um, you know, with people, mixing up with people, irrespective of the fact that he was um, a presidential candidate and um, a former governor of um, Anambra State. All right. So um, I quickly want to update uh, what is going on so far with Peter Obi, uh, because he has been off the scene uh, for quite some time now, but uh, Peter Obi is uh, busy working out, and as you can see, he's a strong man. How people wish Peter Obi was um, uh, the president-elect, I mean, Nigeria would have been a better place. A lot of people, even people in diaspora, they promise if Peter Obi win election that they will return back to nigeria however let me know what you guys think i quickly want to share this with you see you guys in another update